Morris left his library, his papers, books, etc., adhered to the college, uh, where they are now. Uh, and I've gone through them, and people from the Panamint uh, Institute at NYU have come here. They've taken some of the material out and brought it to the Panamint. Uh, and my thought always is that this, these papers, books, in effect, so much of his life story is buried. There is nothing left. The very few of us who remember him, those of you who have much firmer contact than I did, uh, those memories are fading very quickly. What's happening, what's left, is the, the, this library, the paper, and his life story. The college has no, does not seem to want to do anything with them. Uh, Tamerman took some of the papers, but the bulk of the library is still here at the college. And I'm afraid that it won't take too long, because I spoke to the librarian, and they just want to get rid of it. Uh, what you want to disperse it? I don't well, know. What if, what, if what if Tamerman decides to take the remainder? I can't. You know Michael Nash? Very well, uh, yes. Okay. He yes. was here, and I've gotten to be very friendly with him. Uh, he took some, I couldn't convince him to take the entire collection. Well, Michael, uh, 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 he, he, won't, he won't take. Uh, okay, Michael Nash, I know also very well. I should mention, uh, you mentioned uh, Erwin Corey earlier. Erwin's yeah. son, Richard, and I are now co-directors of the National Committee to Reopen the Rosenberg case, which is meeting at the Tamman Library on June 13. Uh, the the Tamman Library takes a lot of collections, but they really only take things that are unique. They don't, they're not going to take runs of periodicals and, and books that they already have multiple copies of. That's the problem. Yes, but none of the yeah. copies they have have Morris's notes. No. Oh, no. That's oh. That's oh. See, but you have to understand, like if, you look at, if you look at any of Morris's books, <laughs> they're meticulously annotated. His notes in that hand of his are tiny. tiny. <laughs> he, kept, he kept newspaper clippings with a volume. He would cut out anything that pertains to it. And those are, now the books themselves, it's true. The individual volume, yes, there are copies. But what you don't have are his notes. And, and I can't get, at this point, I'm not able to get anybody else. Now, I'll speak to Michael. You, uh, we will I'll all speak to Michael on Thursday. Yeah. Uh, that will be my, my, my control task <laughs> for the period ahead, to get Michael to agree to take the balance of Morris's uh, material. Uh, and I think we can do it. Yeah. I don't, again, you know, I understand what the problem is. It's simply space. Well, they, but they have, you, they just took how many thousands of cartons from the Communist Party? Yeah. They have to rent, they're renting additional yeah. space. Well, yeah. some, at one point, what I'm hoping is, after all is said and done, these books are collected and memories are collected, that one day somebody sit down and do a biography of Mars. Oh, okay. Mars and his time. That's it. Uh, I, what, what is the volume of the uh, material? Listening, no. Savannah? <laughs> 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 the material. That's so, um, it fills, I don't know what you say, but it's not very that large, but it does fill a bin of the library holding. Yeah, I mean, cubic feet. Cubic feet. Leonard, my, NYU makes up most of the city right That's now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> NYU is where the Jewish. They've got to have one. No, I'm curious. It's, it's, it's here. It's, where is it, at least? At the library. The basement. Does anybody have a key? <laughs> you can go in, the library's open. I can That's, is it open today? You can go walk in. You don't need a key to go in. No, I'm serious. I mean, after, after this meeting is over, can someone come? Uh, if if come I doubt the library's open. open. Yeah. It's possible. It's possible. If the library's open, you all you need to do is walk in. Yeah. It's not the books themselves. No, it's no. No. Uh, I'm hoping that maybe perhaps uh, some effort be made to have a biography over there. Yes, that's another part that we did. Which is another part of the story. But if this material can be brought together, then interest is all interest of graduate student to look at it and then work with it and put it together. His life and time, the songs that you're singing, your memories, our own memories of whatever went on, should be put down and should be should they make permanent? I have a nephew at Columbia University named Eric Foner, and I have a strong suspicion that he might be able to persuade a student of his. For example, 
the, the uh, chief curator at the Museum of the City of New York, uh, Sarah Henry, Henry is a former right. student of Eric's. Uh -huh. So why not, uh, and, and Eric's father had a very close relationship with, uh, yeah. with Morris. It would so be, why not? Why see if you can get Eric and Sarah Henry to come on Thursday. Huh? Call Eric and call Sarah Henry and ask them to come on Thursday. Oh, yeah, that's okay. a good idea. No, no, to the, the, to the Italian yeah, meeting for yeah. Mars. Yeah. Yes. This is really one of, uh, there's a yes. two-part yes. series of, of, of meetings now. Uh, and you should gonna... know that uh, Eric's father used to perform with uh, Richard's father. With Eric Corey? Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Eric's father's name is? Jack. 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 If out of this meeting, this, you know, I'll yes. Sunday, I'll meeting today, and then out of the 10th meeting, <coughs> if yeah. a project can be put forward. Which, right. would, right. which would be around newspapers and around Morris' life. It's, it, you know, it would make a wonderful story. Absolutely. Uh, if Morris were an agnostic, he would say from your mouth. Not to God's ear. He'd probably say it anyway, right? Well, that's that's here. Here. Now, that's that's so I just want to know exactly who Tannerman was, because I know I met my husband in Camp Tannerman. Uh -huh. But he must, be, must have been a terrific guy.
We reformed our orchestra, and Leonard Lyons wrote a, co a column. Do you remember Leonard Lyons? Yeah. Sure. He said that teachers of City College who were suspended had formed an orchestra. They're calling it Suspended Swing. <laughs> so, well, that's uh, true. Yeah. And I just want to complete with very little coaxing. I can run through the wonderful song the phoners wrote, Bolivar, the trolley car conductor. That was written by Norman Franklin, whom I'm going to see on okay. Tuesday. <laughs> And I wrote a song called Shoot the Shrivel to the Yudel <laughs> because Yudel Slutsky was the was one of the owners of Arrowhead. Oh my God. And every Sunday afternoon they served the Shrivel. Slutsky. So, uh, yeah. And Slutsky, one of the Slutskys, and okay, um, folks. had the equal humiliation in our door. So it all comes around. It all comes around. It comes around. I think our tape has just run out. I've got a second one if you want me to no, throw okay. it in. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all very much for coming. Please come and you can have a great day. Thank you very much for your And more tape.